Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Monday and I did my tutorial today for this look and I'm calling this my Rosie Huntington Whiteley or Whitley. I, I saw her in an interview. I think, I think Crazy Girl wants to get Okay, anyway, I'm going to do <laughs> this look which I think is pretty close to Rosie's typical look. I used um, the Burberry lipstick that I got the other day, but the rest of the products are mostly MAC, I would say, and then my typical products. And I hope you enjoy the look, okay, and I'll be right so back. so the only thing that I have done is put on my Clinique Eye, it's all about eyes, eye rollerball eye serum. And I've got a brand new bottle here of my Master Corrector, and I'm going to put it right here in that darkest area. And it's very See how the brush is real small and it's very concentrated. So just keep it in that one little area. And then just darkness add it up in. into the corner because it's brightening. It's color correcting and brightening. Left. Around my nose where I always have redness. Okay, and then today I'm gonna use my neutral. Just get a little Rachel bit. Rachel K. And that covers up a lot of the redness. It just evens out my skin tone. And it acts as a base. And you'll notice I didn't put any moisturizer on. That's just because I have like combination skin and that just seems to be enough for me. And I only use, when I washed my face this morning, I only used, here, let me go up like this. I only used Dove soap. So it wasn't real drying. Okay, and I have used, I tried a new tanner. It's the Jane Iredale. And it got me a little bit more tan than the Bath and Body Works. So I'm going to, I need to tan up my face. Yesterday I used my regular natural and classic combined. And when I looked at my face later, it was too light. So I'm going to use classic beige mineral powder from Mar Mercier. And just get it in the lid. Yucky as it looks. And use my Sephora 55. And this particular brush isn't available, but you can find one that replaced it. It's um, still called the Sephora 55 Professional, I believe it's called Airbrush Foundation Brush. And um, just get your makeup in it and start. I usually start right here where I don't mind if it's the darkest. And I go up under my eyes on my forehead. what's left down my neck. Okay. And the reason I'm making all these funny faces and like spreading like that and stuff is because you want to get that powder in every little crevice of your face. That way it won't look, you know, like in a pore or a wrinkle or anything. If you just go over it, well, then it's going to show up. But if you go get in every little pore and look and cranny of your face, then when you, especially when you fix plus, it will just be flawless. So even though, who cares how, what you look like when you're putting your makeup on? You especially don't have to worry about it because you're not doing it on video. <laughs> Let's see, so get some more on your brush and get under your eyes, forehead. I have to make sure I get right there, like in between my eyebrows, top of my nose, around your mouth. And then down. A combination of, because I wanted to do a Rosie Huntington Whitley Whiteley, and also I wanted to kind of show you what the original, back a couple weeks ago, probably about three or four weeks ago when I went and had the first MAC makeover, and she did like the LA look, and it was all about skin. She did a look on my eyes that was very similar to something like Rosie would wear. And so I'm, what I'm going to do is a combination because that day she used the Makeup Forever Face and Body combined with those luster drops and I have not been able to master that. And I really think that I just prefer my Laura Mercier. And so I just wasn't ready to try to do that on camera. 
And um, so I'm just going to do a combination of the two. So this is the foundation that I like and I would use. And um, it was just classic beige. And I have to say, it's my favorite. I have people ask me, do I like this better than Bare Minerals or Jane Iredale? And I do. I like it better than anything. And there's just something about classic beige, that particular color that I really, really like. So I just try to, if it's too dark, I just try to tweak it other ways, like putting the fair Rachel K underneath it or mixing it with natural, just something like that. But most days I just like it by itself because it has, as you can see, kind of a great finish and it glows. Okay, for bronzer today, I'm going to use the Dior Skin Nude Cafe Mocha. And this is a one of their darkest powders and it's not really meant to be a bronzer. I think it's just meant to be a powder, but it's the darkest one. And um, I love it. So what I'm going to do is take my favorite kind of contour bronzer brush, which is this one. I like the Bobbi Brown also, the new bronzer brush, but this is when I'm doing like an all over, want to make my face bronzy. If I want to be you know, more precise, I'll use this one, which is the MAC 136, I believe, 138. So I'm going to just kind of lay it in that darkest colors like that, kind of avoiding that pink. And gonna, I'm not going to really try to contour a lot, but I've noticed that Rosie does have a contoured cheek most of the time and kind of like a sun-kissed look. So that's what I'm going to do. It's just a little bit right here and then a little bit around the hairline, which always makes everything look better. And then a little bit right there. And then I'm going to do up under my neck just to make my jawline look better, tighter. Okay, and maybe just a little bit down my nose and on my forehead. Like For that. blush, I thought I would do something I haven't done in a long time. Um, I want to kind of keep my cheeks bronzy, but then put a little pop of color, like, you know, right up under my eyes like I was showing you. And this is my, gosh, I've had this forever, my MAC blush palette. The only one I have. The rest of them are just in the case. But when I like to do that, I like to use, and this is a, both of these blushes are not limited edition. They're easy to get. And um, I like to use, let's see, for my blush brush, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown blush brush. And it's just their plain, it just says blush. It's just their one you buy at the counter. Okay, I'm going to use Gingerly, which is a just like it sounds, just a gingery color blush and it's a sheer tone. So get some of that on your brush and then use this blush back here further, like this. Just to give you that color on the backs of your cheeks, like that. Maybe come up like to your eye so you can still see it when you're looking straight on like that and then take and this is where you can use any color that you like I've noticed Rosie's cheeks are usually not a bright pink not a bright coral they're more of like a rosy tone um, so typically right here I would use like pink swoon which is this bright pink and it's not showing up as bright as it is um, or you can use velvet rope from Lorac would be a perfect one and then I've got dainty here too so Let's just use Dainty because that's one that is still available. And this is the one that they used on me that day during the makeover. And because I want to place it kind of in a specific area, I am going to use the MAC 116. That's my favorite blush brush when I want to just place it right in a specific spot because it's small. So just get a little bit on your brush and go right here. Let's see right higher than you would think just trust me and a little bit further in than you would think like right here and just put it so right there so you can see like look at this cheek versus this cheek how much it lifts the face so right under your eye higher than you would think and just go right there and just pat it in. If you go like this, I think you just, I don't know. To me, it just you don't get all the advantages of the blush. 
like that. And you can see how it just lifts and brightens so up your face. So I just went and sprayed my face with Fix Plus and then stood in front of the, you can do either do the hair dryer or I just stood in front of our space heater and you can see it just kind of like seals it in, takes out all the powderiness, kind of blends your mineral powder, your blush, your bronzer, everything together and just makes your skin just glow. So, okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is the lips. And I thought what I would do, since we're doing the, the difference will be from that LA look that she did, and this one will be the lip color, of course, because what she did is more of a nude lip, pinky nude. Anyway, today, since we're kind of trying to gear it towards Rosie, I'm gonna use one of the Burberry colors in blush. It was number and nine. And the lip liner I'm gonna use is the Dior Linen. And I'm hoping, I haven't tried this yet, I'm gonna hope that this makes this a little bit lighter and easier okay, so for I me to sharpen wear. It and you can see that I've enjoyed this one. So um, I'm going to do, let's, let's do something. Let's see. Should we try to recreate her lips? I know her lips are much more, they're, they're shaped a lot like mine. She's got the fullness on the top and then she's got a lot less. So I think what you would do is, um, let's see, let's just line, let's do a trick. Let's just start lining right there. Instead of taking it all the way down, we'll just start lining right where hers really gets big, like that. And I think, so don't take it all the way to the corners. Just leave it the top pieces like that. <laughs> And then I usually blend it Lipstick, in. Lipstick, like I said, when you put it on right out of the tube, it is pretty dark for me. So I, yesterday, used it just putting it on with my lip brush, which is actually the concealer brush from Bobbi Brown. Um, but just get plenty on your brush. And apply. Yeah, I think that's gonna, and carry it into that color. I ordered the Burberry Nude lip liner so we can see. And I'm gonna just focus the color right on the center of the lips. And carry it up into that liner. like that okay let's see and I'm gonna just I think what's left on my brush I'm gonna carry down to the corners and just try to blend that a little bit maybe get a little bit more color for the bottom What do you think? That's pretty close, isn't it? Okay, and I'm just gonna... But you can see this is a really pretty color. If you like these mid-tone, just really pretty colors like this, it's blush. So it's a rosy type color. <laughs> it's kind of silly looking, but I like it. Okay, so our lips are done, and I figured that would be good to get that done. That way I could kind of gauge the eyes too. Okay, so... When I had my makeup done, she used soft ochre. And I told her I had used painterly, and she said, well, I prefer soft ochre because it has more of a yellow base. She said the painterly has more of a gray base, and she said, I've noticed it can turn your colors, you know, take, make them a little untrue, and this is more brightening. So I don't have soft ochre, but I do have this, which is the yellowy tone um, primer potion. I'm not sure which one this is called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna put just a little bit on each eye. I hope it didn't dry it out. I haven't used this in forever, if ever. And so I'm gonna carry this all the way up and in, all over. This is why I don't do my 
I see some people do their brows before they do their eyes, and I can't do that because I like scared I would mess like them this up. on the inside too. That way, it brightens up that whole eye area. Okay, and what I'm going to do is use those same colors that Ashley used on the, me that day. And the main brush she used was the 220. So what she did to make the all over color not too matte and not too frosty she used shroom and vanilla and just mm -hmm. literally did like this and started with the highlight and then just kind of worked down and just literally do like this that's what's good about having your shadows in a palette too is you can kind of combine colors including your blushes like that okay and then for the crease color it was very very simple and crease colors um, I want to do a whole video on that because I think it's real important I'll go into it I'll do a whole video on crease colors but the one she used is wedge the first one and um, that's a must-have so put your brush in wedge and then just because this is a big fluffy brush it's not gonna be real precise so just work that in your crease and you know according to your eyes you know where you need to do that so there it is and then i like to bring mine down a little bit because i don't want my lids to be too heavy and if you know if since I, my lids are larger right here if i have it really bright it makes them kind of like betty davis eyes <laughs> or something and um so i like to bring mine down and i also oh that's I'll show you the harmony trick she showed me too. Okay, so um, let me do the other eye. You can see bring it, I like to have to bring mine in because I have that skin that's just naturally right there. And so, and then I'll bring mine down on my moving lid a little bit. But that's according to you and your eye shape. What she taught me to do is you see how, and I've, I've gotten kind of used to doing this already with my eye shape because of the way, see how my eye, the bone comes right down. So I already kind of extend my crease color out. But what she taught me to do is to take the Harmony blush and get some. And then right here between your little highlight color and your crease color, kind of color that in a little bit. And it just gives you that... I don't know, it just kind of finishes off your whole eye look. And like I said, I had already kind of done it. Matter of fact, let me, I'm gonna put a little bit of Harmony in my crease a little bit, just to blend it, just because I like it so much. Okay, and then the next color she used, just to warm it up a little bit, is a wonderful color. If you don't have it, this should be one in your collection, and it's the Saddle Matte. And this is just a really warm tone brown. And just put it right over the wedge and that's going to deepen it a little bit and warm it up like that okay and one thing that i never knew was so important but it really is and it makes your whole eye look better even if you're someone like rosie or like i am a lot of times and you don't want anything on the bottom except for your lashes you're kind of looking for that top up kind of flirty look with the lashes and everything still put a little bit of something underneath your lash line and even if you think that it won't make a difference it really does it just creates a real pretty shadow so what i'm going to do is use the saddle but you could use the wedge or cork is a really good one to use under there but i'm going to use the and you can saddle. see that even though it doesn't create a lot it just creates a good shadow and it kind of connects or you know, we'll finish off the whole look like that. Okay, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. And Ashley, I told her I used the fling pencil and she said she prefers the shadows. And what she would use on mine would be the, she used Omega and Express and she used it because she said she gets so a here. better line. So what she did is just take the um, Omega and then a little bit of the espresso and just draw in the bottom of my brows and I'm going to use just Omega to kind of fill them in 
like that. And then just, I'm gonna do one dot of the espresso. So a little dip, you know, like two dips in the Omega and like one in the espresso. And let's go ahead and do this side since, so I won't forget it like I did the other time. And then kind of push up like that. It just depends on how much you like your brows defined. I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe the top, carry that out. And then for the end of it, I'm gonna use the espresso and just kinda extend it out some like that. Nothing major, just fill it in a little bit. But this is a little bit darker than I typically would do. Like that. Just to kind of get them even. Like that. And then she did not put any brow gel, but I really feel like I need it. So, and I've already, I tossed my clear because it was yucky and I wasn't using it. So I'm going to use the Anastasia Blonde. But I'll try not to put a lot of the color. I'll just kind of get them set in place. Because, um, Rosie's brows are pretty definite. You'll notice that that's more youthful if they, you know, I think that's why they, the Victoria's Secret look is they let their brows be pretty thick. Okay, so we're going to okay, do the liner so and before I forget, this is something that I use a lot and I don't, I always forget to put it in the description, but it is the Merrill Norman Inner Eyeliner in Nude. And I got it that day, right around Christmas, when Brooke was getting her ears pierced. And I also had ordered the Stila in Topaz. And the Stila is much of a brighter, lighter look. And it is a much creamier. I think this is a little bit more natural. I gave the Stila one to Brooke. So this is the one I like. And I like to just take it right inside. But it's not too, I mean, it looks brighter here. But once we get our mascara on, it really helps. And um, I've no noticed that Rosie's eyes usually are real bright. For eyeliner, I'm going to just stick with a gel liner. And this is one of my favorites. And I think that it was a limited edition. It is the MAC. The reason awesome. I like it is because it's black. But it's not as black, black, black as the black, black track. Okay, and the brush I brought out here is my favorite, Louise Young. And this is the LY24. So, I'm going to get the product in my brush Start real good. Start on the good. inside just a little bit. And you can see how wonderful that liner is. And then just a little bit, a slight wing, not anything crazy like I've done before, but just a little bit up at the end. Like that. And then back in. So just take this brush and walk it in. This brush is phenomenal and it's worth every penny. There's just something about it being so long and thin, but you still have such good control. And you don't have to um, keep working so hard at it. Okay, and then, so carry your line just about to the end, like that. I'm trying to just smooth up my line and then make a slight little wing at the end. And then just connect it over. And it's so hard for me to get both eyes perfect, but I'm gonna like that. And so you can see I've done what it looks like Rosie does some too. And what Ashley told me to do is not to carry it all the way down, but just to stop it and then just, you know, create a little wing on the end. I better quit messing with it before I'm If you it up. do not like a perfect line, like I know some people don't, this brush has been awesome. It is the Smoky Eyeliner brush from Bobbi Brown. You can just take a little bit of um, you don't even have to take any carbon. You really can just take this brush and then just kind of move it along that line. 
which I probably let this dry too much before I showed you that. So we'll do a little bit. Let's do a little bit of um matter of fact, let's do a little bit of espresso. Like right over the edge of that line. Like that. And that kind of keeps it from being just so pin up or definite looking. Okay, so I think that we are ready for um, lashes. Yes, these right are back. the 120S self adhesive from Ardell. And I'm using the, this is my favorite glue, the Dark Tone Duo. And I'm just putting a little stripe right on the band of glue. Just take, just kind of letting it bubble out. <laughs> my eyes are crossing. Let it bubble out just a little bit and just, you know, just place it right on here, just a little bit of it. Okay, and a lot of times I'll set the first one down and, I'll, and I've already used these one time, so I just stored them on here and I've trimmed the first little section off. And um, so, and then by the time you get through with this one, the last one will be good and tacky. Usually, okay. you know, bend it, make sure it's, you know, ready to go right on my eye. And this is the it's left eye. Put down. And then just stick it. The inside is the main one you want to get right. And then the outside you can kind of adjust. And then I usually just take my finger and like touch the ends and it kind of presses the whole band against my skin like that. And then by that time, this one's usually getting tacky and ready. And then I bend it like that to get it ready, grab it on the ends, and then just kind of set it down. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna pat it in like that. And the lashes that she used on me were the, gosh, I can't even remember what they are, but I did not like them. I don't like them when they go just straight out like that. It made my eyes look kind of heavy because I have eyes that turn down anyway. I They're much usually prefer really the pretty up and fluffy and, you know, she has good lashes. I don't think she uses false lashes most of the time, but like that. Okay, so now I'm going to put the mascara. I'm going to put it on the bottom and that way it gives the tight lashes okay, a little bit of The mascara I'm going to use is the one I always use and it's the Urban Decay Super Curl. And um, I'm not going to put a lot on the bottom because I want most of the emphasis to be on top, but just a little bit. So just kind of touch it on the bottom. Like that. Okay, and then I like to take this, and I'm not really putting mascara on my false lashes. I'm just, because my lashes are lighter, and I want to just blend them into the false lashes, I just do a little bit. I just basically touch these and try to just blend them into my lashes. I literally kind of just push them up into them like that. you don't want to see the separation okay like that okay we're almost done and the next thing I would do is hmm what would I do next I would probably do I've got a new product I want to try today for the first time and it's this Ben Nye banana powder and so many of you guys have told me about it and um, I just got it I ordered it off of the place that you told me to, I can't remember where it was, but they were out of stock. They're on back order. So I got this little bottle off of eBay. And um, so I'm going to just do this um, just down the center of my face, right where I would do the, um, where I would do the Bobbi Brown or the, um, Bobbi Brown or the Derma one? Glow or Derma Blend. So I've got a little bit out on my cap here and there's also some on the top. So it's just a real golden powder and just do my T-zone with it. I 
and I like the way it just comes out real easy into the cap. And I am using, this is a good little brush, a 165. Okay, then the you last step would be the Maybelline Dream Lumi, and this is also the one that's I like in the box. Radiant, which is just kind of a illuminator. But this one is kind of like both. So I'm going to put this right in just the darkest area and click it one more time. Ooh, I might have clicked it too much. Let's see, just dab it a little bit and just pat it in. Okay, so you can see on that one I put a little bit too much, but just try to keep, like just change your fingers or whatever so you absorb some of it. And then carry it out for that kind of highlight. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm going to go put my hair down and get okay, dressed and so I'll be right back. for the outfit of the day, I tried to go with True Rosie Style, which she has many, and she's one of my favorite fashion girls. But um, this is a James Purse, just button up top. These are the and Citizens the of Humanity. They are the, oh goodness, I believe they're called the Rocket High Rise Slick Skinny in Leatherette, and they're the size 28. And I've shown these to you guys once before. I think I've worn them. And um, Miss 40 something, Zoe was asking me about these, and so I kind of wore them for her too. But they're very comfortable, and um, I love them. I thought they went with this look pretty well. And then the shoes I have on you have, Rosie always has on some good funky boots. These are the Jeffrey Campbell Python, and um, they're just good, comfortable boots. And I thought they would just be a little bit better than black ones. Sorry, Sassy is going nuts over here, as usual. <laughs> and then the bag I'm carrying today is my Rebecca Minkoff the Five Zip Mac, and it's not the mini; it's just the regular. Which I these love are kind it. of hard I just to find. Enjoy this bag, just right up there with my top three bags. So love this and then this is the outfit of the day okay and for accessories i have on these earrings that i just got the other day from dillard's they are that brand bars b-a-r-s-e and um they were like 40 percent off and they were still like i think 22 or something like that but i just thought they were so pretty and they're so good for an outfit like this where you just want a little something edgy but still pretty and then my ring is the Dean Davidson Castle Ring. Oh my gosh, he's got so sassy throwing that thing around. <laughs> it is a zoo here, a zoo. And um, let's see, I'm getting distracted. And no fragrance. Um, oh, my nail polish is still the OPI Mrs. O'Leary's Barbecue, and it still looks this good. I can't believe it. No chips or anything, which when you have your nail short, it really, really helps. But still, I can't believe how good it looks. I'll probably take it off tonight just because I want to try that tickle my fancy. But I love this. I really I recommend it. you so getting it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.